Hello and welcome back for this guide. In this uh, video I will show how you can have multi users and one home folder where you can have different uh, properties. So if you have a shared folder uh, the user can connect to it and if you have a single user the, the, the main user only want to have access for then you will have this. So let's beginning to, to create our first folder we can call it uh, home home folder and I will just call it the uh, AD data because then it's easier uh, later to move if this disk get full and now we want to click for properties and then sharing and advanced sharing we just call this home folder and give it a properties remove this and domain user Check the names and uh, I pick the domain user here. Click OK, giving allow everything. And OK, apply. And then we're going for security and advance because we need to disable everything here. Else this, else this won't work. And we say yes. And uh, up here, we give the admin the local admin. We uh, now we do it another way. Just click OK here, and we have the folder. We can go inside here and ask. We don't have correctly permissions access the folder, so you say yes. I want this. For for my own user, I will have a folder called Paris. And for the test user, I'll call it test user. And then I want to go for properties for my own folder. I want to go for security and I need to add my own user and I want full control for this folder when I hit on network and the same you need to do for the test user was security yes and then we need to add test and we have it here full control of course you can remove the admin but you can always take it back again now I need the shell path. So go in for sharing, copy this and go for your user account, connect it. I want to see that's fine. And then I know my folder is Paris. Apply and we say yes. And then I do it the same with the with the test user here. And it should say the same and I'll say yes. And now we are ready to log in on my Windows computer. So let's start to, to take my user first. And I'll log in. And now we are logged in. You can go for a folder here. And this uh, PC, you can see my home folders here. If I'm going for the network, AD, I can see the home folder here. But if I access it, I get access denied. So practically, that's meaning we can do the same with the with a test user. So let's log out here. I'll just uh, add a file here so you can see they don't have access to each other's folder. And sign out. So let's continue and to the try with the test user. And when we are logged in again for the desktop for our test user, we can go for the folder and then we can go for the network and you can see this is a folder and the test user cannot access, uh, access the home folder too. So this completely locked down and can only be accessed from the from the domain controller at itself. Of course you can create the if you have other server where you have storage you can add this storage server to a domain so it can be accessed this way. But for now I just have it on my domain controller and that's working pretty well and I'll add a file here and here we go. And it's another one. Just use a doc. 
if we're going back for Active Directory uh, server, we have the home folder, and here's my test file for Paris, and here's the test file from uh, from the test user. So I have access to it as an administrator in my Active Directory, but nobody else will have access for it. And in a company where you need to have the, the company files, it's made pretty good sense everyone have access to it. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you want to join my channel to subscribe in the, in the thing. And then if you have any questions, please make the comments below in the comment field. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. And of course, I hope you want to add my video to your playlist so you can get more tech videos from me. Thank you so much and thank you for your subscription. Hope to see you next time.